it's been a bit of an epic journey. How gorgeous. Good morning and welcome to another week. I'm on the bike, I'm with Ben and Lewis and you must be thinking, what's she doing? It's Bank Holiday Monday. But we're heading to Norfolk today and I've literally had a weekend of eating and drinking everything. So I thought I'd better start off the week well. So I've come out here to just get this done and then we're gonna pack up and head to Norfolk. Good afternoon, we've arrived in sunny Norfolk. Thank goodness the sun's shining. It's been a bit of an epic journey, but we're here and we are heading out for a little walk. We're staying in a village called Thornham. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous is that? Oh, it's the cutest cottages ever. Definitely gonna be taking lots of photos of the cottages up here. Yes, we're staying in a village called Thornham, which is like North Norfolk. <gasps> oh my gosh. How gorgeous. Hope Cottage. Very sweet, isn't it? I feel like we've got a bit of a photo shoot coming on. How pretty is that? Oh, it's so pretty. Anyway, we're heading up to Thornham Deli and we're gonna go and have a look around the area that where Eric's Fish and Chips are, if you know it. Um, lots more seems to have opened since the last time we came up here. I think it was about four years ago, I reckon, before, definitely before COVID, that we were here. We're really lucky, my sister, her in-laws have got a place here, and so they've lent it to us for the week, uh, which is very nice of them. So we are here, um, and we're going to go and explore. I absolutely love it up here. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. I'm just sitting outside now in the garden and I just wanted to show you the rabbit. You might have been listening to my last vlog where I was like, we have to take the rabbit. You all right? 
Oh, Rafferty's about to play golf towards me. Maybe go down the other end, Raff. So we've got Cross and Tail with us. She um, came in the car. She's almost like having a dog. We don't really have anyone that we can leave her with up in Yorkshire. We've got some lovely neighbours, but they're getting very old now and I just feel like we can't really ask them. So she is coming, she's come up to Norfolk. She's a well-traveled rabbit, this one. You all right, Raph? Here he is, he's just playing his golf and football, and in fact, all sports, aren't you? What's your favorite? Football, rugby, golf? Basketball. basketball. Random. Have you ever played basketball? Yes. Really? When? At school. At school? You've played basketball? Yes. Really? Yeah, I need a basketball. Really? Yes. Do you use it for basketball? Is it for net? Sometimes. There was, you, there was sometimes two, but sometimes there's actually one. Oh, okay, you're going to tee off from there. Don't lose them in the in the flat, oh God, flower bed. You'll have to go and find them if you lose them. Oh, don't watch that grass too. Oh, well done. <laughs> Good morning, um, we're heading out for a walk and it's not the best of weather this morning. I'm hoping it's gonna cheer up. And I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna bring this new top that I have got. So you might remember I have been working with a company. Let me show you their uh, label, their branding. Here it is. Oh, should I try to face it around the right way? Akai, I think that's how you say it. I've got a discount code for them if you would like. I was given this a couple of months ago and it has been the best thing that I've bought or had I should say been given since well for ages for going out walking it's just so good the quality is amazing they've just sent me a new item which is a bit lighter weight here it is let me lay it out for you as you can see I'm yet to try it so it's really nice fabric for starters it feels amazing here we go if I find oh can I see what it's actually called it's in charcoal. I've got extra large size 16. I wanted it to be quite full fitting. It goes quite low on the bum. They're at their clothes are really thought out the design. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. I think I might just wear this. I get quite hot on my walks and obviously the temperature is, even though it's not sunny outside, it's actually a really nice warm-ish temperature. So I think this will just be enough. So I'm gonna try and wear this and let you know what i would think but i do love the feature the fact that the back it dips down so it goes lower than your bum which is really good anyway head over to their website because you will be able to look at the, these sort of things are really good really thought out you will be able to see all their stuff uh, i've got a pair of trousers from them as well which are waterproof really really lovely anyway i will get this on and give you some feedback. Run along. Oh, I thought that was a slide. <laughs> I was like, what's that? I don't know why the reflection of the water is like, oh, it's a little slide for the children. I'm going mad. Oh, it's very windy. <laughs> Along, we're trying to try and make it down to the beach, which you can see in the distance just over there. Hello. Are you not bothered? This is animal cruelty. Well, not really. He's not bothered by us. Just saying hello. Hello. Roger. Roger. Very sweet. Hello. Um, uh, we are heading out now. I managed to just quickly wash my and dry my hair, which is a miracle. My hair is so thick, it takes forever to do. But now it's done now, this will be okay for a few days, I'm hoping. Although the weather looks a bit rubbish, so on the beach it's gonna be a bit cold. I'm heading down, we're gonna to go to Blakeney, which is one of our favorite places to go when we're here. We've got our crabbing nets, so we're gonna do some crabbing, have a bit of lunch there, um, and then we might head on to Wells. I'm working with Crew Clothing over on my Instagram, and they've kindly sent lots of different clothes for the kids. So, and my husband actually, and me, 
um, which is very nice. So we're going to be going to do some photos down there of the clothes and the products. Um, so I'm hoping that some the sun might come out. We have a running joke that every time we come to Norfolk, it's cloudy and everywhere else in the country is hot. So I'm seeing everybody else's pictures of like Cornwall and Devon and it looks boiling. I'm also seeing everyone else's holidays abroad and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I was abroad. But anyway, we are lucky to be here and I'm really grateful my husband has got some time off work and he can switch off. Being married to a doctor is very intense, especially like when you've just had a weekend on call, it's like hard. So uh, I'm really pleased that he's got time off and we can have do some activities together. So we're going to head out now um, down to Blakeney. So I'll take you with me. If you haven't been, it's really pretty. It's a lovely, very quiet, just really, really lovely. So I'll take you with me and you can see what it's like. Percy Pig! Percy Pig! So I'm just having a little wander up Blakeney, up the little road, so I'll show you around. The houses are just beautiful and they've got nice little shops. There's a deli up here as well. So I'm on the hunt though to find Matilda some leggings. Poor thing, it's freezing. I can't believe we left such gorgeous weather in Yorkshire and it's freezing. too early for the hollyhocks so i think all of these are hollyhocks um and i think it's probably like june beginning of july maybe but we must be normally coming at that time because they're normally out and they literally are beautiful so pretty all this one's for sale i wonder how much it would be it's beautiful i love all the flint and the brink work. It's really pretty. And the fact they still have telephone boxes. We tried out one the other day and it actually works. I'm just having a wander up and a walk around. It's so pretty. We've just been taking some photos of Phoebe's top. It's absolutely beautiful. It's very summery. Yeah, it's freezing, isn't it, Fee? Yeah. We are frozen. So we're just we've walked round from like the boat sort of bit and we have been doing some photos here so I'm gonna try and edit these tonight. I'm gonna to walk back across there and try to not get our shoes completely filthy. <laughs> They're not looking good are they? Mine is slightly better than yours. Thank you. 
ice cream? So are the marshmallows inside? Oh my gosh, wow. Really good. Good afternoon. So we've come to Wells by the Sea, or on the sea I think it's called, where we tend to come quite a lot. Look, the sun is coming out. Hallelujah. Look at the blue sky. Woohoo. We did see some black clouds like over that way and we're like, oh my gosh, are they coming to the beach? But no. So it's a little bit breezy, but it's quite busy still. So the good thing about this beach is you can hire beach huts all the way along here and you can sort of rent them out for the week if you were here for a week. Um, but they're just so pretty and I haven't been anywhere where I found beach huts like this that are just really pretty. They're all really well kept. So I've been taking some photos of the kids. Oh look, Tilda's up next. Here she comes. She's got her crew she's got her crew um t-shirt and shorts on. Are you coming to do it? Do you want to come and pick a beach heart tills? Yeah? Which one would you like to pick? Oh, we've just done that one. I like that one too. Let's pick a different one. Do you want to go and grab your jumper as well, Tills? Because then we can have that in it as well. Yeah, run and grab that for me and then we can do this. This goes. Um, we're just over there. We're building sandcastles. I think it's a bit too cold to paddle, but oh, I'm so pleased the sun is finally out. Yes. Look at that sunshine. So we're just walking back, we walked down to the sea, uh, it was quite muddy though and we didn't pack wellies, I honestly did look at the weather and it was supposed to be much nicer than this. It's fine now, I think when you're out near the water it's actually quite breezy but it's not here, it's fine. Anyway we're going to head back, have some breakfast and look at this gorgeous house, how pretty is that? We've been admiring it from all angles got roses that climb all the way around it it's absolutely stunning um so we're just heading back to the house and then we are going to go on a little road trip around and we're then we're actually heading to my in-laws for late lunch early dinner they live up here not near where we are but we're gonna travel to come see them so we're gonna have, we're supposed to have a barbecue but i really think we're gonna be sitting inside because this weather is not good is it What's going on? This is half term and it's supposed to be nice. I think in Car Cornwall and Devon, I've definitely seen the sun is out there and it looks amazing. I don't know what it is. I think Norfolk get the, the memo that we are coming. Let's be cloudy. Not Don't let the sun come through. Although we did have to then <laughs> go away <laughs> go away oh my gosh they're a bit of jokers aren't they can you go what are you doing go out now so we've just got back from a barbecue which was actually inside because <laughs> it's freezing it's so cold today i think there's a big massive north wind that's coming down and we're all freezing anyway normally norfolk is lovely so if you are coming don't be put off by this weather i don't know what's happened this week i think it's just half term and they heard us that heard that we were coming so basically um decided to make it freezing anyway i wanted to show you my outfit before um i go and get changed into my cozy wear first up i have this lovely denim jacket so this is from hobbs um it comes in a kind of creamy white color too i really like it the the style and the fit of it i haven't worn a denim jacket since i think i was at school and i still have my gap denim jacket in my wardrobe i don't know why i'm hanging on to it it still kind of fits i can't really do it up but it does fit and it's a light blue um and i think denim jackets are just really useful so they can make things look a lot more casual 
um, and they're just a really nice cover up for this time of year when you don't want to wear a trench coat or you don't want to bit wear any sort of big blazer or anything like that. This is just a really nice way to sort of tone down your outfit. So this is from Hobbs. Um, it's a really lovely length on the sleeves. I tend to turn the sleeves up, but you could put them down like this and button it all up. But I just think it fits really nicely. It's just a really lovely um, jacket to wear. I've got a necklace on. Um, this is from phase eight. It's new in at the moment. Um, they've got some really nice jewellery pieces in phase eight, as well as Hobbs do lovely jewellery. So if you're looking for like a cheap alternative, then head over there and have a look. Let me show you the dress. That's what I came on here to show you. So my dress is from Crew Clothing. I absolutely love the cut of it. And that's really why I came on here to talk to you. It's got a beautiful V-neck with buttons that run all the way down. And then it's got these lovely sleeves. So as you can see, they're kind of like a little puff sleeve with a kind of broader anglaise type feel to the sleeve here. It's got embroidery detail as well coming through. And the sleeve length is really nice. It comes right down to almost my elbow that covers all the tops of my arms, which is great. It's got a lovely kind of cut to it because it cuts just under the bust here, you can see, which is a really nice shape and very flattering because the skirt goes out very full. Um, so it just feels like a really nice dress to wear. Like I put it on and I thought, oh, I like this. I like the shape of it. It makes me feel really good. Um, and the other day I went to um, a wedding. Well, you might have seen from my last one, I went to this wedding and I wore this really bright dress. And I hadn't tried it on before and I just put it on and then went to the wedding and I was like, when I was there, I was thinking, what am I wearing? I feel so uncomfortable. It's not my colour, it's not my shape. It was kind of falling down, it didn't fit very well and it was a disaster. So I don't really know what happened there. Whereas when I put this on, I just thought, I love this. I really like the shape of it. It's just a really nice cut. Sorry, I'm putting my hair in the way. So you can see it just feels amazing. Really lovely quality as well. So I think it comes in different colours, this dress. Um, if I stand back, then you can see the shape of it as well. So if I go, it goes all the way down. It's quite long. You can see there you've got my legs. So I've got on, these are Hobbs wedges, which I have worn pretty much every day since I've got them. They're really comfortable because the heel is not too high. Um, but you can see this is a really nice skirt, just feels amazing to wear. Sorry, the lighting's not the best in here. But I think you can get the idea of what it looks like. It's just lovely. And then obviously if I put it with a denim jacket, it kind of tones it down and makes it a little bit less kind of formal. But I think it's a really lovely summer dress to wear, um, where the cut cuts so nicely that you will feel amazing in it. Um, so it's really nice to work with crew clothing. Um, I think it comes in white and maybe there's a there's a definitely another version with a collar that's red and then the blue, a white one, which look kind of like a similar kind of style. So have a look on their website. They've got a massive sale on at the moment. Anyway, I'm now gonna get changed into my cozy clothes because we're all basically freezing. Um, and then we are, get, I think my husband and I are gonna have some wine and I'm gonna chill out. For the first time ever, he's bought a book. I haven't known to read, I think, since my honeymoon, or our home honeymoon, I mean, um, which was like millions of years ago. And he's actually bought a book to read, which was really odd. So last night he read his book and I did some editing on the computer, uh, on my laptop. And I was like, this is really random. I normally sit in front of TV programs thinking this is rubbish. Then we give up halfway through, there's nothing on TV at the moment. So we might just do that again and just chill out. Anyway, tomorrow my sister arrives and just to warn you now, it's gonna be chaos. She's got three little ones. So we will be um, doing lots of fun things with them, I'm sure. I was just looking to see if the lighting was any better here, it's slightly better. It's getting a bit dark out there, but anyway, you can see the dress slightly better if I go back here. Let me step back. Oh no, I need to go further. Now I was like, get those two all the way. Here we go. Can you see my feet maybe? There we are. Yeah, it's slightly better like this with this line. No, I'm not sure. There's lots of spotlights in this place. Anyway, you get the idea. It's a really beautiful dress. 
oh, I love these. It's really nice. It's a beautiful cut. Um, so go and check it out. I'll put the link below um, so you can go and find it. Can you work out where we are? Uh, we're next to a car park. Hmm, where is that? I think it's, I think it's, I think it's up here. Yeah. Oh, Tills, I think it's this way. It's an old bird. Is it? How do you know? I know these things. You know, show me. What does your dad want? One of those. Oh my gosh, that's a very big bag. Yeah. Teeth into your mouth. You have fizzy what? Oh, you're supposed to put them in your mouth, like around your teeth, to look like Dracula. Oh, look, there's lots of lovely things. Oh, wow, a knitted watermelon. Very pretty, aren't they, all these lovely things? Go along here. Where is he gone? Good afternoon. We've just got back from Burnham Market. It's one of my favourite things to do when we're up here. Let's have a little potter around. It's got some really gorgeous little shops, some delis, cafes. There's a hotel there. It's just a really nice atmosphere, especially when it's sunny, which still not sunny i have just checked the weather though and tomorrow looks like it's going to be sunny yes and saturday sunny and sunday i'm looking at all my friends still down in devon and cornwall and i'm thinking oh my gosh why don't we go there anyway we've come back we're waiting for my sister to arrive with all her children and then we might go out later on but we're just going to have a little relax now at home we're trying to going to try and get some work done they're all coloring which is great. They're not on any devices or anything. So they're colouring and they, I don't, 
they've been doing some play-doh things and making things so i'm just going to leave them to it while they're playing nicely for once and crack on with some work um but anyway hopefully i'll be back on here later if you haven't been to Birmingham market though go and check it out when you're up here it's just a beautiful place to kind of potter around and have a look don't forget though the main car park only takes cash and every time I turn up there I'm like oh my gosh why did I not remember and you can't even do the phone thing and I never have any cash on me so luckily for us a really lovely lady was just pulling out and she said would you like my ticket I was like yes please anyway we we're gonna I'm gonna go get on us this is such a pretty house and I'm just trying to take a photo with my phone and it basically looks not very good i need my big camera look at all purple coming through so pretty anyway we're just heading out for a walk early morning walk past thornham manor which i think is probably flat, flat. yeah but it does look rather nice imagine that as your house this is the orange tree i had to get the name right there Oh, we've never actually been here, but my sister has and says that it's nice to sit out here for a drink. I like the say it. What? The orange tree. Why, what is it called? The orange tree. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. our coffees we're gonna go on a little walk now this is where you now have to go to go and get a table meet and greet and then you must go in this door it looks like more of a shop there opening times yeah it's like a little shop now really there's another level oh i'm coming where is it we're just at a windmill. I don't think I've ever been up on a windmill. It's quite cool. Um, where they're making bread down below. I'm just gone up. There's another level. Oh, I don't think I can go higher. I will be scared. This is amazing, isn't it? I think that that's it now, Eddie. Oh my gosh. Let's see what they're doing. What are you doing, Flora? Who's got, oh, you've got the bread. Are oh, you made shapes? Do you want to go up there? Wow. Daddy's up there. Yeah, Daddy's on the next level. You go. Daddy's on the next level. Daddy's on the next level. Daddy's on the next level. Well, it smells amazing, doesn't it? How our old fashioned till would work. That's amazing. No, it won't work properly now.
good morning. Um, we're just out for a little walk. Um, so we're walking through Thornham. Here's the sign. Thornham is that pretty sign? And I'm just having a quick look up the road of all the different houses. I mean, look at these. So pretty. All the little villages are just gorgeous. So we're heading down there, following my husband very slowly. And then we're gonna head out for a day with the kids. We're taking it in turns, my sister and my, her husband are gonna go out after this for a little walk. But we thought we'd take it in turns and go for a little morning stroll. How pretty is this? So we think this is part of the pub that's around the corner, but it's, this is obviously just the rooms bit. It's very pretty. And all, all been done very nicely. It looks very nice, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, so it must have been a, a pub. Yeah. Just wanted to show you this pretty house. It's literally, wow, that is stunning. So this one I've been kind of eyeing up. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's kind of like falling down. I wonder how you get in that. Do you think anyone actually lives there? No, I don't think anyone's in it. It's a bit, maybe you go from the back. Sorry, we're just noting all the pretty houses. This is so pretty. Look at that little pond. That is lovely. And then over, we must curve around the road. We don't know where we're going. Oh. Exercise room <gasps> closed. That was good. <laughs> Clearly don't need to do much to place my exercise ring. Look at that cottage in there. I mean, Good afternoon, we are at Holcomb Beach and um, we've just done the epic walk from the just like four miles away and um, we've made it not quite to the sea. So we've got on this um, amazing dress, which is a beautiful blue colour, absolutely good. It's got a blue bee as well. Um, we're all sat over here in the sardines. Um, Okay, can you do it, Flora? Flora, do you want some help? Are you coming to get your buckets? Yeah. Okay, ready? Everyone's going to run around the pitch. I mean, everyone's going to get you out. Ready? Knock. Knock. Go. Well done. Go, 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 go. Round her, round her, round her. Go, 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 go. Get her out. Get her out. Oh, no. Keep, keep, keep running, keep running, keep running. Ready? Just get him out, get him out. Sorry. Whoa. Oh, he's left the bat. He's going round. Go, go, go. Feet, go, go, go. Yes. He's out. He's not out. Oh. I can't remember how to play it. Go. go. Oh, rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one more. Ready? Go, go, go. Oh my god. My video is getting a bit long now. Come on. Oh, oh that's rubbish. Another one, you did it. Oh. You're not running, you're just batting. <laughs> Whoa, 
Well done. We are back and Phoebe is already looking up a recipe to start baking. She loves baking and is totally obsessed with it. So I think perhaps after we've had a barbecue, she might do a bit of baking. Um, it's so nice to come home and be back in on your own house. Although we've had a really lovely time away and it's been really nice because my husband has had, I think four days off work, which is unheard of. He's always working and so it's just really nice that he's had some time off. So um, I've just been trying to sort out some of the bags and things like that. But in, in here, it's just really nice to come back to a lovely, tidy house. Let's get some lights on. This is all my vintage pile that I'm sorting at the moment. But yeah, it's just so nice to be back in this space so i can't wait to sit down here later on and get cozy it's supposed to be really sunny outside we left sun shine in norfolk and it is not sunny here in yorkshire it took us three hours we did a really good run what well, my husband did and i'm just pleased now that we are finally back so yes i think we might have a barbecue this afternoon and then we're going to start to slowly get ready for school back into a routine after a week of half term um which i'm very much looking forward to it's been a busy 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 half term so i'm working with this lovely brand over on instagram and they have sent me some of this whiskey for a Father's Day present. So it came with a glass um, like this and then in a little gift bag. Like so. So if you're still looking for something for Father's Day, then have a look at this brand. Let me just get out the information here. Really, really nice sort of leaflets and packaging on there. Um, Father's Day whiskey set. This Father's Day, treat your dad in your life to a sensory journey of one of a kind whiskey from Great Drams. So it's a Highland single malt. You can find them on Instagram. They are Great Dram whiskies. So if you're looking at all for any whiskey or presents for Father's Day, then have a look at this brand. So this lovely parcel arrived in the post yesterday. Um, it's from Love Brownies. So they are a Yorkshire-based company. 
but they have got these packages together for Father's Day. So this says with love on Father's Day and inside you will find four little brownies. I just thought, how cute is this? On the back, you've got all the nutritional information. Um, but I just thought it was a nice Father's Day gift if you're looking for something uh, this Father's Day. I am signing out for this evening. We've just watched a great film and we're heading off to bed. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll be back next week with more exciting stuff. So I will see you then.